barely. Right. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. And how the hell do I get down safely? Aha. Uh -huh. Although, that being said, I did notice that my health was at half. So I took a half medipack, so my health should now be... Yeah, it's... Sh Wait a minute. I'm sure... Oh, maybe I died again and forgot. I don't know. Right, well, we're pretty much... We're three quarters. So let's save and see if that... Oh, it does. Yeah, I'm, I'm, my health must have just been too low. Right, so I'm at half now, so I might as well just... Yeah. Ah, right, so there was a circuit board over at the swimming pool, because, you know, where else would you put a circuit board except right next to a swimming pool? Was there not one upstairs as well? But I can't figure out how to get right back up there. going outside. I don't like the way the ground keeps shaking. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> yes people, there is a T-Rex charging about There's a T-Rex charging about New Vegas. <laughs> and Lara Croft is phasing through cars. Great. And T-Rexes. This is weird actually, this just feels the most un-Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider game ever. <gasps> There's the gold bars, and we know where the gold skull oh. is. It's just how the hell do we get to it, and how do we get back up there? I'm going to save since I got that secret. That wasn't much of a secret, it was just kind of lying out in the open. I mean, anybody that came by this way would have seen it. <laughs> the shit is that? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Elevator Junction. Alright. So will that help us get back up? I love the way that everywhere we go, Lara's uh, f floor, uh, the floor from her mansion uh -huh. is everywhere. God, everybody loves that shit. Th this is weird. You go from... You... Uh -huh. you're, you're in an outdoor area. <laughs> You're in an outdoor area, and then you just walk into this kind of alcove thing, and it's full of TVs. And and nobody, like, nobody tries to steal them or anything like that. <gasps> or maybe that was just uh, an example of Core being like, oh fuck it, just put any old graphic there. Oh, of course there's another one. Of course there is.
Great. So if anybody, <laughs> can you imagine the average person in, in Las Vegas just walking around and being like, oh, there's a couple of dinosaurs lying on the ground. <laughs> Right, so presumably that thingy that we just picked up is going to... I wonder if he's the guy from Cell Block Rock. I wonder if they're kind of like the new band that everybody's obsessed about. You know how like everybody was obsessed with new, is it new to, well, One Direction a couple of years ago. God, I couldn't give a shit. But um, yeah, maybe maybe that's. Uh -huh. Maybe they were the One Direction of nineteen ninety seven. Uh huh. Uh huh. Do you know what? Oh, uh -huh. I was just about to say. Do you know what would be great to go with all these all this ammo? Would be the actual pistols, and I just picked them up as I was about to say it. walking here someday. Right, so is that everything? So it was a, it was a case of picking up the... the thingy for the elevator, but where on earth do I put it? isn't another elevator somewhere, is there? So how are we meant to I have to climb back up, do I? Because remember when, when when we came down, there was the bit of the surface that was climbable, even though it wasn't overly obvious. I don't. Oh. Oh my God! Seriously, oh. why do I get the feeling this is going to be the most nervous thing since St. Francis has fallen? Winston's up above, looking down, thinking, oh god, here she goes again. Um, oh. Do you know what would be nice? An Uzi. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now where... Unless I meant to sort of dangle off the edge and then climb up. I f actually, that's not necessarily a silly idea. Hang on a minute, because I'm going to one false step and I'm going to fall. Oh, god damn it. Oh, this is ridiculous. The amount of saving I've done is ridiculous, even by my standards. <sighs> yep. Can I get away with singing the Snake Eater theme? I don't remember Snake ever climbing up a, a grotesque example of modern art. That's probably too slidey to get... Oh. Um.
Hi, Winston. You would not believe the shit I have just seen. Why did she bring the butler with her anyway? I mean, that's quite a... So, um, the elevator. Oh yes, I remember this now. So I should said no, and it turns out that I actually hadn't. Uh, I hadn't actually figured out how to solve. Right, okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, sorry, Winston, I'm going to leave you again. Imagine if, if lift really did work on pressing the button on the outside and then diving into the inside. I'd be even more scared of them than I already am. Well, I'm not terrified of lifts or anything, but I'm just I'm always convinced that, that something awful is going to happen, like it's going to plunge back down. or like the, the, I remember an early TV memory is watching an episode of... Um, what was it called? Was it called LA Law? And it was just a case of channel hopping. I was like about. S <gasps> oh my god. No, 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 no. The third secret. The third secret. So is this the same chap from earlier and he's gotten out somehow? Like, I need to... No, no. we need to... Um, what was it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, so I just uh, randomly channel hopped and I found this episode of um, LA Law and Diana Muldaris in that and I'm, I've been a big Star Trek nerd since I was old enough to understand what television is and I, I just randomly channel hopped and came to this Oh god, it's right fucking behind me. No! Oh shit. Right, let's just ignore all that shit. Right, okay. Um, so I'm watching this episode of LA Law and I'm like, oh, there's there's Dr. Pulaski, I'll watch this. And it, I swear to god, it was the episode where she fell down the elevator shaft. And... <laughs> it it kind of scarred me. It was just a horrible feeling that every time you walk into a hi, every time I walk into an elevator, I'm utterly convinced that the the uh, the the the, sh the actual lift is not going to be there. Oh my god. Oh shit, Lara, come on. There we go. There we go! All three secrets! And it wasn't even, it, it didn't even take a huge amount of effort or indeed a set, well I suppose that was sort of a second attempt uh, to do it. That was bonkers! That was absolutely bonkers, but in a kind of uh, awesome kind of a way. You can really tell it's one of those, um, it's one of those levels where they're like, look, 
it's the bonus level, we can just go a bit crazy. Because there's parts of that that don't feel very Tomb Raider. You know, the outdoorsy bit just doesn't feel... I mean, I've probably made my feelings clear about um, uh, the modern levels of Tomb Raider games in the past. I'm not necessarily a big fan. Uh, but, um, no, that was still a lot of fun. It was still kind of... <laughs> It's still a bit crazy and weird. Um, uh, some of the bits were a bit odd, you know, like the way you can shoot some windows but not others. I mean, you you kind of that that's I wouldn't say bad level design exactly, but it's a wee bit sloppy to you know set a rule, but then break the rule again. You know, like saying the windows can be shot, or oh, but these windows can't. You know. Um, and the only way you're really going to know is to basically just keep shooting at them and hope you find one that is breakable. Um, I can't believe I didn't find the Uzis. In fact, I might go back and see where they are. Um, but that was fun, and actually Tomb Raider 2 Gold has been a lot of fun. It's not... Uh, I'll probably put a, a, a wee video together, just like some quick thoughts the way I did with Unfinished Business. But um, it wasn't... Um, I mean, I love Tomb Raider 2, I really, really do. But w one thing that was glaringly obvious to me when I replayed it a year or two back was it really is find a key to open a door, to find a key to open a door, to find a key to open a door. Um, and this one didn't feel as much. I know there was a bit of key collecting. We collected, what, two, three keys in this level? But it didn't really feel... Uh, it didn't really feel as uh, monotonous the way the main game can sometimes. But overall, I've really enjoyed playing Tomb Raider 2 Gold. It's a really nice looking game. You know, you can see the transition. It's not quite as good looking as Tomb Raider 3, but you can see that transition. Much in the same way with Unfinished Business, you can see the transition from 1 to 2 in it, you know, you can see the transition from 2 to 3 in this.